Well, now I've loaded up some drums here. I've got the ebony set, I believe it is. And you'll see here, of course, it says ebony set right there. And you'll notice here that each one of these knobs, this is like kick, snare, hi-hat, tom-tom, has a name underneath it. And so these green lights here are for the cymbals, obviously. Right here is the kick drum. That's sort of a rim shot on a snare, snare drum, a snare roll, and another snare drum, but no snare underneath, just hearing the drum itself. Other side kick, that's almost like a tom-tom, so you'll notice here we have hi-hats. There's a tapping on a closed hi-hat, there's a hat half opened, and there's an open hi-hat. So I can do a little thing with the hi-hats right there. And between these hi-hats, we have tom-toms. Tom-tom sounds, right? Then here, more stick sounds. And you'll see the various different lights. Now, what I can do, too, I can go right here and change this kick drum. We don't hear so much of the, of the middle of the drum. Now, all these sounds are mapped out already within the complete control software. And it's a pretty cool way to work with everything. I can also move this here, for example, here. Again, and now I'll see other prompts I can change also. We have the room. We have the reverb here. The master. Overall output, right? Bring this down. Turn it up. Have the reverb. No reverb. I can add some more right there. And these are our perform panel knobs. And you notice the same knobs are actually turning in the software. And you see the same names too as well. I can go to the various pages here, as you can see here. And go back again. And once I get here, this is lit. This is not lit, so I'm at the end. And this is all part of our perform section. What I can do here, I can do some sort of browsing uh, with the software. And, you know, I can, this is the library right here. This is Abbey Road. I can do it with the complete control, too. So here's the complete control right here. And I'm going to press the browser. Once I press browse, this window opens up right here. And we have the option to browse. Now, here, of course, this would be my own sounds I've made up. If I want to make a new kit or something, I'd save it here. And this is what comes with complete from Native Instruments. So it's like a global parameters kit. That's what that globe means right there. So currently, I'm on the ARS drum kit. Now, if I take the knob here, if I turn this knob, I can scroll through every kit, as you can see here. I'm just turning the knob, and we're just scrolling through here, looking for something to use, right? And there's plenty of stuff. It's ridiculous amounts of stuff as I keep scrolling through, as you can see. And I go all the way back again to the top, and here we are at the very top right there. And that's at the very top, top right there. And right here is the drum and instrument section. Now you'll see here, right here, on the right hand side, we have the selection. We can select different setups. And this is the Ebony Show Tunes, right? And I can select my particular setup I want to use for the AR60 drummer. So I can go next. You'll notice here too that this is not lit. So my left arrow is not lit, but my up and down arrows are lit. And then the right arrow is lit. So I can go to the right. I can go to the Now this is not lit. So now I, and I can't go down, so I can see this is lit. So it sort of tells you a nice great user interface to tell you, hey, this is where you can go. I can go there. I can go up. So I'm going to go back over here. And then I want to go. I can scroll here. I'm going to grab the knob here and just scroll up and down. And look for a selection I want to load. Let's say I want to load this psychedelic rock kit, right? And if I want to load that, I can just press this button down. And it starts to load, and it will load in to the system. Now you'll see it right here. This is the kit. Early kit full. You can see it right there, right? And it says psychedelic rock right here, as you can see. I can change that too, right here. Go to blues. Whoa, it's kind of cool. And of course, we'll see those same parameters appear here on the keyboard. 
for different sounds. And that's how I can get around here on my complete control. And I could have instances as well. So an instance, for example, I could have machine up at the same time. And now it shows me, well, I'm actually incomplete. And there's also machine is up here too. Machine is right there. So it gives me an instance of what sort of door is up and running that I can use that'll work with complete. Now here I'm in this Alicia key set up for this piano. And I got a piano set up here and play some chords there. And here you'll see we have scale. We have ARP for arpeggiator. And then we have the touch strip for a pitch and a strength right here, absolute and relative. All right. So here, I'll click on this little knob right here. And here you'll notice as I click there that the knobs here on the complete control have changed. Okay. And the same information is here that's in the software. So we see the room, stereo, digital ambience right there. We see the as a room here is on, there's off, so just two parameters here. Here we have the amount of digital ambience. We have stereo on and off. We have the spread of our stereo. Here we have the digital ambience. We have on or off, the amount and the size. So we can change the size of this particular room. And we can change the ambience amount of that particular room as well too. Now what I want to do here next is I want to click on this knob again. As you can see this knob right here. It's giving me my parameters for those outputs. So I'll do it again right here. I'll turn it off and I go right here now. And now I want to go back to scale and I have our arpeggiator. And I can turn the arpeggiator on from right here in the software. Right there it's on. And now I can play a chord. Let's play something here now. So it's playing that. It's arpeggiating these three notes. Let's change in the bass note, the bottom note. And you see it's arpeggiating. And we see the direction. So we have it pages here as you can see. There are two pages, one and two. And these are the pages from our arpeggiator. And that's main. Here's up and down. Here's the rhythm to it, right? So that's the first page. So I can go here. I just want to go up. And we'll just do this. That's the up. And let's change this again. Let's do the down. And then we have the up and down we played before and played. I can change the rhythm. Here's eighth note triplets. And here's 30 second notes. So you can see, and to go even more, but back to the 16 note rhythm. We can also sequence, we can swing right here, change the swing value. I'll do it right now so you get an idea of what that's going to do. So it's kind of cool. So we can change all these various parameters for the arpeggiator. And there's more pages. I'm going to the page up here. And we have off hold at the very end, which you can't see, but you can see on the software right here. We have the hold, which is on. And here's the main for that. And our arpeggiator mode. We have note repeat. So I have note repeat also as well. I can repeat the note. That's a 16 note repeat. So let's go back in here. Let's get one note repeat, right? So it's like a chord only. It's holding the chord. It's holding the chord. See that? And you'll notice the lights remain on until it actually dies out. It's kind of really cool.